Ovadyahu, Obadiah 1. The vision of Ovadyahu. Thus says Adonai Yahuwah concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from Yahuwah, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made you small among the heathen. You are greatly despised. The pride of your heart has deceived you, you that dwell in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that says in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Though you exalt yourself as the eagle, and though you set your nest among the stars, thence will I bring you down, says Yahuwah. If thieves came to you, if robbers by night, how are you cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the grape gatherers came to you, would they not leave some grapes? How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All the men of your confederacy have brought you even to the border. The men that were at peace with you have deceived you and prevailed against you. They that eat your bread have laid a wound under you. There is no understanding in him. Shall I not in that day, says Yahuwah, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the mount of Esau? And your mighty men, O Timan, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. For your violence against your brother Yaakov, shame shall cover you. And you shall be cut off forever. In the day that you stood on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates, and cast lots upon Yerushalayim, even you were as one of them. But you should not have over, you should not have looked on the day of your brother in the day that he became a stranger. Neither should you have rejoiced over the children of Yahudah in the day of their destruction. Neither should you have spoken proudly of the day of distress. Rather, in the day of distress, you should not have entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Yea, you should not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. Neither should you have stood in the crossway to cut off those of his that hath did escape. Neither should you have delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of distress. For the day of Yahweh is near upon all heathen. As you have done, it shall be done unto you. Your reward shall return upon your own head. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon Mount Sion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness. And the house of Yaakov shall possess at their possessions, and the house of Yaakov shall be a fire, and the house of Yosef a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. 
and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahuwah has spoken it. And they of the Negev shall possess at the mount of Esau, and they of the plain, the eth Peleshtim, and they shall possess at the fields of Ephraim, and at the fields of Shomoron, and Binyamin shall possess at Gilad. And the captivity of this host of the children of Yashadael shall possess that of the Canaanim, even unto Seraphath, and the captivity of Yerushalayim, which is in Sepharad, shall possess eth the cities of the Negev. And saviors shall come up on eth Mount Sion to judge the Mount of Esau. And the kingdom shall be Yahuwah's.